started off the Monday morning with a good Amazon Live. If you guys don't know, I go live on Amazon Live. Not a lot of people, a lot of people know what Amazon Live is, but I feel like I still get questions asking what it is. So basically, Amazon Live has like a live, or Amazon has a live streaming option where basically I go live and share Amazon finds, Amazon deals, and I do that weekday morning. Normally, pretty much every single weekday. Sometimes I take a few days off or whatever here and there, but I do do that. So it's a lot of fun to be able to live interact. All right, so we have on our agenda, oh my gosh, honestly, kind of a lot of stuff. For filming, I have a list of four TikTok videos I need to film, as well as a YouTube video. I use Notion to plan out my days, and it just makes it so easy to be able to have a to-do list, visualize what your day, and visualize what your week is gonna look like. I did design a whole setup that is kind of based around a content creator. I think you're able to share your templates for Notion. Maybe I should figure that out. I wouldn't charge you guys for it. I would just give it as like a free resource on my website. We've got some stuff around the apartment we gotta do. So we're gonna do that and film it as well. I've gotta show you this. So I'm working with Black & Decker on an ad for TikTok, I believe. So this is not an ad. However, I wanna share this vacuum with you guys because I feel like a lot of vacuums right now are really expensive. And I know, if especially if you're like a college student or on a budget, you know, you don't want to spend $400 on a vacuum. I get it. I've been there. This one is like $30. It does come with attachments. So it has like your little upholstery attachment, your little nozzle one. So you can use this on your couch and everything. The suction on this vacuum is one of the best ones I've ever used before. Like it is crazy. I think the price, you can't beat it. It's lightweight. It turns into like a handheld vacuum as well. Even though we have our other vacuum, we're gonna still use this one because I honestly feel like the suction on this one, kind of like one of the best ones I've ever used before. I'm gonna insert a video right here of us testing it out and it literally vacuums up stuff before it even gets to it. Crazy good. <laughs> Gotta do a voiceover for two TikTok videos and then edit the Black & Decker ad that I have for TikTok. I'm really excited about this because I've been on the hunt for like a vacuum that's affordable because like when we first moved into our first place a couple of years ago, we ended up buying just like a really, really cheap handheld vacuum vacuum that was like $30 and it really was not great at all. This one is really, really good. So if you're on a budget, I really recommend that one. The ad is saving. I'm just have to add my filter on that, but let's, let's go to the guest bedroom really quick, shall we? Because I told you guys I was gonna do like, um, oh, let me move this stuff. I told you guys I was going to do a bathroom organization video, but really what I think I need to do is put away all of this PR because it has just been chilling here. And honestly, I'm not gonna do anything. I know I said I was gonna donate it. I'm not gonna be doing it in like the next week or two is what I'm trying to say. So it just needs to have a home. Honestly, I think it's like breaking this stool low key. So I need to get this just off and I'm gonna just put all this stuff away and then I'll sort through it and I'll just go through all of our bathrooms when I'm ready to make a huge donation. But for right now, this stuff just needs to find a home. Like what even, oh, I have another, oh, I have another bottle of this. Anyway, I just have to go through all this stuff. I'm gonna just put it all away for the time being. Heavy. Oh my gosh, I can barely walk with this thing. So heavy. What in the world? I'm so mad. I meant to click record so you guys could watch like a b-roll of me putting everything away and I completely forgot but you guys it's clean this is what it all looks like hi guys um but this is what it looks like I use these organizers I'll have them linked in my LTK I'll make like a post for you guys but they're nice they're drawers so it's easy to access and all of that so we've got hair care hour stuff so this is like deodorants toothpaste toothbrushes sterile pods skincare skin skin <laughs> Skincare? Skincare, skincare. There's so much skincare. Hair tools. Some of our travel. This is like Noah's travel stuff, actually. And that's what we have in 
that one. And then down here, we've got like body washes. This is basically like salt hair, everything salt hair. We've got random travel size products, makeup products, a random tea thing that I got in a PR package. These are towel dividers. So if you wanna roll your towels up, towels, I actually think I have them down here. Yeah, I do. See, you can put your towels there. So those are there. And then this is a hair dryer that I have for when people come to visit and everything. It's just there so they can feel comfortable instead of going into the uh, the big collection, which obviously they're free to do. I just keep a hair dryer down there with the towels. How we organize the guest bathroom. I really love doing my hair like this. It looks so good on camera. I wasn't gonna do any laundry, but I went to go fold this blanket on the couch and I was like, yeah, that smells like Wilbur. So I'm gonna go ahead and wash all of our throw pillows and throw blankets. We are almost out of laundry products, but I have a big shipment coming on Thursday, I think, and I'm going to just try to make this last as long as possible so that we can do a really satisfying restock at the end of this week. first moved in I was so much better about this spraying the couch to refresh it because the couch and linen items really hold the odor of a dog they just do I wish I stayed better about doing this because it just helps so much and honestly I used to do it every single day and then obviously I just stopped doing it but like I can just smell the smell like a Frito factory, you know? I've been trying to figure out um, someone who can come and clean our couch, whether that's like once every three months, once every six months, because I have my upholstery cleaner where I can do it myself, but honestly, like, I just want someone to come and clean it all. I can just never win. I'm feeling a little overwhelmed, so I think I'm gonna do some cleaning. I think most of it is like when my environment is dirty, I just feel like I can't be in a proper headspace to get work done. So it's like 1.30, I'm gonna do just like a speed clean, but we're gonna see really how speedy it is because I feel like I'm gonna go ham with cleaning. So let's get at them. bathroom for the past couple of days. I honestly kind of like it because I feel like in our bathroom, for some reason the counters aren't as big as they are in here. I also find that there's a lot more storage. Now the headband. I personally really hate this headband. I don't think it's cute. I think it's just weird. However, it's the only headband I have. Yesterday, I cleaned, as you guys saw. However, I got into this mode of cleaning. It ended up lasting about three hours <laughs> and it was ridiculous it was ridiculous i ended up my camera died but i was just in the zone of cleaning and just decided we weren't gonna stop with that being said though i feel really good because now the house is all clean i was putting off certain tasks 
because, I don't know, just certain tasks I find can just take too much time. And then I end up procrastinating until I can't take it anymore. So it felt good to clean it yesterday. But today we've got some ad campaigns we have to shoot. I'm working with a clothing company. So I'm really excited to try on those pieces. I hope they fit and look good because I'm very excited about those. My favorite part of my makeup routine is putting on this bronzer, which I'm pretty much out of. There we go. What the heck? I don't know why my camera was like all the way turned up like that. I was trying to figure out why my videos were so, so bright the past few days, but we figured it out. It's almost seven o'clock, so my Amazon live stream starts in like 45 minutes. I've been trying to figure out how to get volume in my hair without teasing. I think I figured out the secret. So you guys know I love IGK's uh, dry shampoo. This right here, the IGK Beach Club Volumizing Texture Spray. You just take your hair. I normally hold it like this and I just spray up and it adds just that perfect amount of volume. It's not crunchy, it's not sticky, it smells fabulous, but it just adds that little bit of volume. All right, I'm going live on Amazon Live in like 20 minutes so i have to grab all the products for that let me get everything all together camera yeti did y'all know you can get replacement uh stanley straws on amazon they come in a pack of six and they're like five bucks live stream went good it is nine o'clock right now i have two youtube videos i need to film one of them is the may best sellers from amazon as well as i'm going to do a like full amazon finds car organization recap just kind of put it all in one mega car organization video because i think i've done like three so far but i want to put them all together into one and i'm honestly thinking instead of like leaving to go do something i really think i'm going to just go to the lobby of our our apartment because it's super nice they've got really nice places to work and get stuff done but because I'm filming those two YouTube videos I'm obviously gonna need to edit those so I was thinking it might be kind of just nice to go to the lobby and get some computer work done that's not at the apartment here because sometimes I find I get distracted so I'm hoping that I'll be able to hold myself more accountable if I actually leave to go get work done. It's monthly roundup time. These are the best selling items on Amazon in the month of May. Let's head out to the car and talk all things Amazon car organization. I just finished the car Amazon finds video and it went really good. I'm gonna go to Starbucks really quick, pick up an iced matcha latte with cold foam. We're gonna come back to the apartment and I'm gonna just, I think, go to like the lounge and get some work done. I brought my laptop with me. I've got my new purse with me and we're gonna go uh, get some computer work done. So let's go, let's go be productive. videos which I feel so accomplished I edited the thumbnails good to go it felt I need to get out more I need to go there more because like obviously living in an apartment you pay for the amenities might as well use them so I do have some like campaigns I gotta shoot this top adorable part of the ad campaign that i'm doing and this bathing suit how cute are these little sleeves i'm obsessed okay i do want to take a shower and take my makeup off it's getting to that point of the day where my face is feeling greasy i do have a package that was delivered to um ups or fedex or something like that but i'm gonna pick that up tomorrow because i have a nail appointment tomorrow and we're gonna run out and do some errands tomorrow tomorrow will be like my outing day Good morning, y'all. I have not vlogged at all this morning because to be completely honest, I've been kind of rushing to get everything done. Went live on Amazon Live. I love doing that. If you guys ever wanna join, I'll have the Amazon down below, but I go live and we talk all things Amazon deals, Amazon finds, all sorts of stuff. But anyway, I did that in the morning. I ended up organizing all the cords in the junk drawer with this new organization system. Let me show you guys how it turned out. So this is it. I basically got these clear boxes clear little bin type things 
and used my label maker. I love this label maker. I'll have everything down below. It's all on Amazon. I got a pack. I got two packs of these. I think they came with seven each or six each. They were like under $15, I want to say, to do all of these. And I did not need as many as I got, but that's okay because it fits perfect. But I just used my label maker. And in each of these, I just have like the little cords for it. And I used the little cord uh, zip ties or the reusable zip ties. I really liked how that turned out, but I filmed like an ASMR video for that, but I have a nail appointment. <laughs> So basically that's what we're going to do. I'm leaving uh, hopefully a little bit early because I do have to get that package I was telling you guys about yesterday. So I do have to get that. I've got laundry in the washer. Just kind of running a little bit behind, but I think I've got everything. Let me just grab my water, grab my purse. Goodbye, Wilbur. I will be back. <laughs> We got the package. We'll do an unboxing when we get home because this is a really exciting package. Let me turn on the car. It's hot. And again, I'm not dressed. I'm not dressed for 85 degree weather. I'm dressed for working from home in a 69 degree house. So that's, I never dress properly and I always die of heat when I leave. But we are going to be a little early to the nail salon, which is always great. I thought I was running late, but I guess I'm not. I'm kind of running early. So that's good. Let's go to the nail salon. I think we're just going to do the same color. Pick Lit. It's a classic, but it's such a pretty color. I got the time wrong on accident, so I'm like a half an hour early. It's stupid me. I literally, I knew I should have looked because I was like, I don't know, the time doesn't sound right. And I, I did. I ended up being really, really early. I wish I had something to open up this box with, but I don't. So we're going to just um, finish editing the TikTok that I filmed this morning for the drawer organization and just try to kind of kill some time, which honestly works out perfectly because I left in a rush and wasn't able to fully edit this video. So I'm going to sit and be productive. I left the nail salon so quickly because it's about to pour and I wanted to make sure I was gonna make it home in time, but we have a little unboxing to do. So we're gonna open this one first. Ooh, we got some goodies to try. Nice. I've been wanting to make like some soup, so I'm excited to try these. These are the Kettle and Fire Bone Broth. I think one of each flavor. Thank you, thank you. I'm gonna be cooking with those. I'm assuming you guys could probably take a bet on like what it is. It's another bag. If you guessed it, you guessed correct. Oh, 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 oh. She's pretty. I like her. I feel like now I'm just a, I'm a bag influencer. Like I, I feel like doing what's in my bags, restock my bag with me. That's just my brand at this point. And I, I'm not mad at it because I really love bags, but not really designer bags. I don't know. And that could change, but I'm not really like someone who needs a, like a designer expensive bag. I currently love that you can get a really good quality bag for like under a hundred dollars under two hundred dollars it's a good size too i saw that you could pick out your own look how pretty that is it's like a fishtail braid i thought that was just so pretty and it would be kind of like a different strap for this purse i should be clear they sent me this stuff i didn't get it like buy it do you know what i mean got this for the car never have enough here travel bags just like a little matching set like a lanyard kind of setup maybe comes with a pouch as soon as like an airpod case and a little coin purse this is everything all together i accidentally used the box cutter to take off this tag being really lazy uh, i'm so mad at myself but that's all right in the grand scheme of things it is what it is this is a gorgeous bag it's got a ton of storage it's got a zipper it's structured and you guys ready <laughs> How pretty is this strap? Is this not just like the cutest bag of all time? The strap just adds a little bit of detail to it. Oh, this is so pretty.
Good morning, it's Thursday. I'm so ready for the weekend. On today's agenda, we have to edit this vlog so far. I try to try to update editing every single day so that way it's just really easy. I don't get too overwhelmed. I just edit one day at a time. Well, I have not done that this week. So I have to edit this entire week up to this point. And then tomorrow's Friday, so I'll just add in Friday's portion of the vlog. And then I have to update the Amazon storefront. I really like to update that pretty much like every day, every other day. And thankfully, because today is June 1st, I finished all of my ad campaigns for May, which is great. Love that. cups because they're double walled and they've got a lid on them i'll link them down below they're such a good size and i just love that they have a lid and they're double walled i already said that anywho the vlog is updated to this point which i feel really good about it took me like two hours to edit which is kind of a long time normally it takes me about well i guess that's right because i guess it's like we're already at thursday anyway i always am curious on how long it takes people to edit their videos for me it's like pretty much the amount of footage i have like if i have two hours worth of footage it's gonna take me two hours to edit so it, it definitely takes time like you'll just learn it and you'll get faster and using final cut pro i just edit it so quickly now and it really does help because obviously like time is money and we don't want to waste time editing <laughs> it was raining this morning i was kind of hoping it was gonna be like rainy all day and it doesn't look like it's gonna be rainy all day it might get cloudy in a couple of hours again but i just love rainy afternoons when i have computer work i have not updated the amazon storefront so that's what i'm gonna go work on right now i really never know how to vlog these days where i'm just doing computer work because i feel like it's so boring but at the same time i don't know i just watch all these influencers and they're always doing like all these crazy things vlogs can be kind of boring when we're just home. The reality is not everybody is going off and like doing all these things all the time. And it's okay if you're home doing nothing or just doing work or whatever. I mean, sometimes that's just what phase of life you're in. It does not mean it's forever. It's just that phase. And you might look back on it and miss the more homebody, slow, just work time. You don't have to be social. 24 7 but you also don't have to be alone 24 7 you guys get the gist 